Hi guys, uh, so today's video, if you're not interested in anything to do with hair colouring, hair bleaching, hair colour removal, then don't watch this video, watch another one that I do or one that someone else does because you're not going to enjoy it. But if you do, then welcome, hello to my channel. Uh, I literally just coloured my hair about 10 minutes ago, I've just dried it quickly and I didn't realise how well it actually would have gone due to the circumstances that I had. So I'm literally just going to put everything together. I have 20%, it's gone down from 25 just like now, uh, left of my battery charge. So I literally just want to go through everything uh, if you're ever using the same product because I knew that there was only one person that did a video regarding a hair colour that I wanted to use and it was like the best thing ever to actually watch someone do it. So if I can help you or just say what I use or whatever, then please and ask me any questions that you want. Okay, so first off, I started with hair coloured 811, which is a Swatchkoff Agora. I always use these ones. This is another one, but I'll, I'll speak about that after. So I had this in the 811, so it's level 8, which is kind of like a medium blonde. Always ends up darker, so I guess in reality it would turn out to be like a dark blonde. And 1 is ash, and 11 is like extra ash. So this one, for example, is 9-1, just because I was trying to go a bit lighter. I haven't used this yet, this is just bleach. So what happened was, I dyed that with a, um, I think a 20 or 30 vol, quite high. Got a really good colour, I was happy with it, and then whenever it faded, I'd just top it up with a 10 vol, which is a 3%, I think. Yeah, 6 vols, 20, and 9 vols, 30. So... All it ever did was didn't damage my hair, it literally just kind of like toned on top of it, like really, really nicely. Uh, right, that's that. So then I went on holiday uh, last week and my hair lightened to fuck. And I mean, oh, sorry. Um, it lightened a lot, a lot, a lot, meaning that my hair on the top was so much lighter that it didn't even come into my head that I thought I could, you know, maybe even get away with colouring it without lightening it or anything. So it planted the seed in my head thinking like, oh, I kind of like it being a bit lighter and you know like it's natural forces that's done it anyway. So within the week that I've been back obviously a bit of root regrowth and anyway the bit of hair that kind of didn't touch the sun also had a bit. So I'd say in terms of my head I had maybe like a finger of regrowth of natural hair. So I thought right okay how can I do this? So I bought this um, when I came back which is the 91 Agora and um, Swatchkoff, which is a extra light blonde cendre, so which means ash in French. So it's a lilac-y, bluey tone. Actually, no, more blue. Uh, so that's really good if you've got orange or yellow undertones, which I do. No, yellow is more purple better, but blue, which is one, I think, is best, because I've tried so many over the years, and this is the only one that actually gets rid of any of my kind of copperiness or orange-red tone, because my hair has a load in it, naturally. Um, I feel like I'm rumbling on. It's not what I meant to do. Um, so I was like, right, so I ordered that and I thought, okay, great, I've got 30 vol at home, I'm sorted, it's all good, I've got 20 vol, I've got 10 vol, I've got everything I need, let's just get that Agora stuff. I bought some toner as well, which was the uh, La Riche by Directions in silver, which is like a bluey toner. I always, always bought that, you get it from eBay, like £2.93, pounds. just get it from a good place in the UK. And I just got that sending in the post, that's probably going to come tomorrow, but I just couldn't wait and just did it anyway today. So then my other option was to use a pre-lightener, which I've used previously in the past, but it's never been this good. It's really hard to show in the camera, but it is literally like champagne white blonde. It looks kind of yellowy, but I can't tell you enough how kind of blonde it looks. So what I used is this, which is the Premium Lift by Blonde Me. So this is all Swatchkoff, but I didn't get the kind of the assigned Blonde Me developer just because I thought I'd rather the oil one which I'm used to using which is the Royal Oil developer. What I've done before when I've bleached my hair with this powder which is bloody incredible is I used coconut oil first, left it for the whole day and then did it. I realised after coming back from work today I didn't have any coconut oil and for the first time, because I knew I was going to do something to my hair tonight either whether it be it bleach or um, like normal hair colour. I didn't wash it so I didn't have gel in all day so my scalp could get kind of oily and natural. And I always write notes anyway, whenever you're colouring your hair and um, whenever you're colouring your hair always write little like iPad notes or just write it down what you do because every other time you always forget so I'll write like how it felt, not into like that much detail but kind of like what I did. So I wrote, sorry I'm going to look at it, so I did 30 grams of this 
with 55 millilitres of 20 volt. I started all on the sides first because I was like, it's really difficult with guys' hair and with women's hair to do roots when you've already got a bit and you think, oh, I need to do it first. And then you, you think, oh, it looks so easy looking on the videos. And then you do it and then the end bit gets pushed in with the root bit and that brush just seems to clump it all together and it's just a mess. And then I've seen videos as well with people using the makeup brushes and I should have tried it, but just such a hairdresser, you know. So mix all these together, mix it into a paste. I left it in for 25 minutes after I applied it in like all on, so I guess 30 minutes in total. The lightening went very fast, so after that I left it for a, an extra five minutes just because what happened last time is I feel like I didn't let it develop enough, I kind of chickened out and my hair seemed good, I was doing kind of like a pulling strand test, felt okay, you know, it, wasn't, it didn't feel like damage in any way. Uh, so in total 35 minutes and you can do up to 30 vol developer. So I didn't want to do too low with 10, but I wanted like a medium level and I'm not joking, my hair is completely the same condition, slightly a bit, well it's obviously going to be a teeny bit drier, but I don't mind that because I have pretty fine hair anyway and it just makes styling easier. So then I rinsed it out with kind of coolish tepid water and then I used this one, which is um, the Colour Enhancing Blonde Shampoo, which is Cool Ice Anti-Yellow Effect. This is pretty much just like any silver shampoo. I don't buy into the whole, I tried the L'Oreal one, it, there's just honestly no difference. This one is actually isn't that good, I don't know why. It kind of, it's purple when you put it in your hand and as soon as you put it in your hair it just goes into a normal foam and it doesn't feel like purple shampoo at all, whereas the one from Boots, Silver Crin, no that's not a hairspray, the one from Boots that everyone kind of gets is a lot better. So I put that in and my hair was maybe, it wasn't yellow, I think it was just the light and it was because of wet, I should have just left it, but anyway, I kind of thought, oh, like, I could really do with, like, some, like, purple toner or blue to make it, like, really icy, um, because at that point, I kind of was like, well, I've lightened my hair a lot, and I wonder if you've ever felt this pre-lightening your hair, if it hasn't been the plan to leave it like that, and it was just, like, the connecting bridge towards a new hair colour that you wanted, and then you kind of think, do you know what, I've struggled through all this, and I'm gonna cover it up. It's kind of like in a way I was like, oh well, like I put my head through it, I may as well like enjoy it for like an evening or something or a day. So me being uncommitted, I tried this. The Bleach London Blue Lini, which is a super cool colour, and it was aiming. I actually forgot it would have made it like this, and it literally did. And um, I really stupidly, but this also shows that you can get away with it. I just put it on like completely put it everywhere without any um, conditioner, which I should have diluted it, but anyway. Literally left it on two minutes and then washed it off and my hair was like mint. Mint, mint, mint green. It was like, yeah, just really, really minty, icy, silvery green, which is really cool, but it's not what I wanted at all, but it was stunning. So if you do want that kind of like minty, jade, cool effect, um, that's the best stuff you could use. And all right, okay, so then I got a bit scared and then I put an absolute beep ton of this all over on drier hair, lathered it in, so much that I actually kept it kind of purple on, and then massaged it in, because I was saying before, like it goes all like clear, and then rinsed it out, and then all good. And voila, my hair is lighter than I've ever, ever, ever managed to get it with any product, and I've done double bleaches with you know, preference in, you know, store-bought as the Walmart kind of ones. I've done other bleaches and even kind of swatch cloth pieces, but this stuff is the best, 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 best. It, it's amazing. And honestly, it says the dust reduced powder and it actually does do that. It, it didn't fly around everywhere. I didn't have stinging in my eyes. The only one thing I would say about this is when you're using it is, I don't know if it was just maybe me because I didn't maybe use as much liquid with it because I wanted like a thicker paste also because I've got shorter hair it kind of bubbled but that's normal I think with bleach that it, with warmth it kind of expands a little bit and honestly that that's all I can say about it is the best best bleach and now I've got this open platform which is probably maybe why most people watch this is really for the, the hair stripping but I just wanted to show and just because I'm, I'm so shocked I have no I have no root, like on it, like I, I had root before, it was a big risk whether I did it or not, and I didn't have to go carefully with something, and it 
kind of worked out fine. So I don't know if I'm just lucky. I probably am and touch wood, I'm grateful for it. But I just wanted to show that you can actually do it for guys and you can go over hair colour and you can lighten it all together and it looks really super even. I'm either going to do this tonight or not, I really don't know. It's kind of like when you pay a lot of money for food and you don't want it for like a meal and you don't want to like, you know finishing it's going to make you really sick but you do it anyway because you've spent all that time and money on it. Mm. So I honestly don't know and I think I'm just going to leave the video here because, and if I do do it maybe I can record me doing this. So if you want to see that let me know if that isn't too late. Once I make my mind up because I don't like want to seal my hair up until I've made a decision, the uh, commitment kind of person that I am, I have bought this and I'm so excited to use it. So, 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 so excited to use it. Uh, and it comes like a shower cap and everything. So I've heard really wicked things about this product and it just resolves any sins that you've made to your hair or put it through. And not that I even need it now because my hair feels totally fine, but that's right after the color and, you know, and I even even put conditioner in my hair. I literally just shampooed it because I'm, I could be doing this within the next hour, I don't really know. I'm gonna have dinner and then see how I feel. But yeah, so I haven't even got conditioner in and it just feels wicked. So this is the quickest video, I have 11% battery left. This is the quickest video ever. Well, probably, well, <laughs> I chat so much shit. I'm really sorry. Um, so yeah, this is just a really quick video that I wanted to do to just show you guys that you can, it's not like an inspirational thing, like you can lighten your hair. It's literally just, I'm as surprised as, I don't know, you are, that I didn't F up my roots by doing it, or I'm gonna get like a double tone, like a really naughty bit of like darker blonde that's gonna be like following its way right down to the end until I like cut it off. Hope this helped you, and if you've got any questions regarding guys' hair color or anything like that, I've dyed my hair since I was in year, Five, yeah, so maybe when I was like 11, 12, and I even bleached my hair when I was 12 completely by myself. And since then I've tried every single thing. I've been pretty much every color apart from black. So yeah, if you've got any questions, let me know. If you like this sort of more hair video, cause I'm usually always doing kind of like skin and just like pissing about video videos, let me know. And thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Thanks, bye.